Greetings and salutations and welcome to another Steeler Boy video. Uh, firstly, I apologise for the delay in getting another video out. Um, as usual, it's uh, IRL takes priority and I've been rather busy with other things, so uh, apologies for that. But basically this video is going to be in response to one of the guys that posted a comment uh, one of my other videos saying can you please show us how to set up the reverses, the reverse thrust in an aircraft? So, this is going to be a very quick video because surprisingly it's very easy to do. What you need to have, and as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm actually sat in the default 737 cockpit in FSX um, looking at the throttles. Now, the way I have it configured, I use FSUIPC. For those of you that have uh, watched my previous videos, you'll know that I use FSUIPC. The first thing to check, uh, well, two things basically. One is you need the fully registered version of FSUIPC. The free version won't cut it. You need the fully registered paid version of FSUIPC. Um, so go back and watch my previous videos on how to install that if you don't know how to do that. Once you've um, paid for, downloaded and installed FSUIPC, you will see it in the add-ons menu like this. There we go, FSUIPC. Now what you need to do first of all, and I'm pretty sure I covered this on, in my earlier video, is you firstly need to make sure that your, um, your controls are not configured within FSX main menu. Let me show you what I mean. If you go to options and settings and controls and then go to buttons and keys, what you need to check is that your joystick column is completely empty. Yeah? There should be nothing at all in this joystick column. What that will mean is that you will do all your configuration through FSUIPC. So, let me just open up FSUIPC. So, add-ons, FSUIPC. This is the fully registered version. Uh, as you can see, I'm running 4.948E. I'm not too sure whether that's the most up-to-date one or not. I'm not too sure, but anyway, it works. <laughs> so, what you need to click on is buttons and switches, surprisingly. And all you do, now you can if you want, tick the profile specific box. That's entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to leave that blank for the time being. All you need to do, assuming you've got all your controls plugged in and configured, etc. I'm just going to uh, basically pull this lever downwards. This is the throttle. These two on the left hand side. Well, let me explain something first of all. I have the SciTech yoke, and with the yoke comes one of these throttle units. I've actually got two, because I purchased another one separately. But this one on the left is the one that's actually attached to my SciTech yoke. So, these two levers on the left are throttle levers. They go up and down like that. Uh, I can't remember what that one's configured for in my 737, but these are the two throttle levers. In fact, if I just come out of FSUIPC and move the throttles. There we go. You can see the throttles are moving. All right. There is then a button on each of these levers. If you pull them down, there's a button and it acts like a button. So if I go back to FSUIPC, buttons and switches, the left hand throttle, I'm going to configure for the left reverser. So click it down. That is now in the button position. As you can see, it's come up in my case, it's joystick 4, button 20. In your case, it may be entirely different. It depends how much hardware you've got plugged in. Now, I've already set it to be the reverse thrust. What you need to check from the drop down here, you need to have throttle 1 decrease or decrement, whichever it stands for. Throttle 1 DECR, decrease, I'm going to guess it stands for. Uh, you need to also have this little checkbox ticked, control to repeat while held. That means it will continue to decrease throttle as long as this button is um, engaged. When you release the button, when you put it back to its normal resting position, we want it, the throttle to go back to its cut position. So you choose throttle 1, cut. Okay, so your two settings once again, throttle 1 decrease, 
control to repeat while held and throttle one cut when it's released. What does that do? Well, let me show you. We pull the button down. Hey look, the reversers are engaged. <laughs> That's this one here. Reverser one. We bring it out of its uh, button position and it goes back to cut. And it's this exactly the same process for throttle number two. Go back to buttons and switches. We pull down the second one. OK, in my case, again, it's joystick 4, button 21. This time, however, you want it set to throttle 2 decrease. You still want the uh, checkbox enabled to repeat while held. And when it's released, we want it to go to throttle 2 cut. Dead simple. Click OK, by the way. Oh, there's one checkbox that I didn't mention. You need to tick this box here. Select for FS control. Make sure that's ticked. Apologies, I didn't cover that the first one. Um, but you need to tick that box. And once you set it, press OK. And let me just demonstrate button 2. Oh, it's already done it anyway. There we go. Reverse. And it goes back to cut when you bring it up. And it's normally uh, the normal sliding throttles controls. And that is it. It's as simple as that, guys. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated. Hope you enjoyed that very quick video. I shall hope to do another one for you very, very soon. Uh, as always, please leave some comments uh, in the, uh, the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.